everyone has pain. We live in a world that is riddled with suffering because of the fallen nature of this place that we call home. Listen to these words. I, I wrote these in my uh, doctoral project years ago. I'm currently reworking this material to be able to present uh, and offer and guide folks through a grief share program that I wrote as a part of earning that degree. I was taking a look at it and I came across these words and I, I think they might be of encouragement to you today, especially if you are actively engaged and aware of suffering that's going on in your life, of dealing with daily pain, whether it's emotional or psychological or spiritual or physical, we all hurt and we're surrounded by others who hurt. Christians are not called to passively watch the trial and pain in the world. Healing for grief can come through taking action. Active discipleship comes not only through acceptance of the sovereign will of God. That's the primary thrust of this project is to learn to see the sacred in our pain. That God is at work revealing himself, pulling us to himself in our pain. We see exemplified on the cross that God always accomplishes his greatest restorative and redemptive work through suffering. It is this beautiful, perplexing, wonderful, terrifying reality of this creation in this current stage of human history. God allows suffering like a backdrop against, against which to highlight the beauty of Jesus Christ. But active discipleship comes not only through acceptance of the sovereign will of God, it comes with a concurrent acceptance of the reality that God works out his sovereign will in the world through believers. Listen, I want to encourage you today this way. If you are suffering, if you see the suffering around you in this world and all of its various flavors and forms that it takes, first, accept that God is at work in these things. But secondly, accept that God is at work in us. And our calling is not to passively say, well, your will be done. No, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven in me. Be encouraged today. God is at work and the problems you see, the pain that you see, those things in our lives, God is calling us to wrestle and fight against them. Even as we accept that he's allowing them to shape us, to change us, to work in the world. We serve a mysterious God and a powerful God, and he's at work in us, and he's calling us to be world changers, even starting in our own little worlds. God bless you today. Be encouraged. Be strengthened. In the face of suffering, in the face of injustice, God has placed you and me to be change agents in this world. God bless you today. Amen.